Hi there, good morning guys, it's Deirdre from Vegan Delight and it is Sunday morning. So I just kind of thought I would do a day in the life of... So I am just made my smoothie. So I got a banana, I have about eight bananas in here and some kale and some water. And John is just pouring himself a glass of water all over the counter. So we have this Brita filter and you fill it up and if the person doesn't know that it's full up top and they pour it, it goes everywhere. It's really irritating. Hey, yep, me too. <laughs> Say good morning, Charlize. Good morning. Are you going to have some dates? I want to show them my treasure first. Okay, you can show them. Those are her treasures from a walk outside. Beautiful. So John is in his cycling gear. He's ready to go. Going outdoor cycling today with a friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna have my breakfast. John's having dates. Going cycling with Quinton. They're going to check out the Good Friday race course. The Good Friday race course, which is in Hamilton. Hamilton, and it's like what three weeks away. Yeah. Less so than three weeks. Away. John and I are both racing in this race, uh, so we're getting excited and a little bit nervous for it. You want to race too? Yeah. On your little bike? Okay. All right, guys, so I'm at the gym. I'm just about to do my long run. Um, I've got to do an hour, 20 minutes, and I have some fast kilometer pieces in there. So I've got to do three times one kilometer at a 4.50 pace with two minutes in between. And then um, I've got a three kilometer tempo piece which I want to hold a 4.45 pace because my next 10 kilometer race is um, coming up in May and um, so that's the pace I want to hold is 4.45 so I'd just like to, um, if I could get, that would be 6 kilometers in this run at that pace so that would be really good. You know, good confidence builder for um, being able to hold the pace for the race. Um, Alright, so I'm going to get at it. The reason I'm not going outside, it's actually nice enough to go outside but um, because I want to hit these pace times, I can just set the treadmill and um, I know that I'll do it. So I kind of like that sense of security, I guess. Um, and also it's still kind of cold. I guess coming back from Florida, um, this sort of spring weather doesn't really seem warm enough to me. Okay, so I'm finished at the gym and now I'm on my way to a dinner party. So I've got my kids in the back. I'm with my niece, so she was over babysitting while I went and did my run. Um, so we're actually going to her grandparents for dinner, so it's my best friend's parents. So we're going there for dinner and she has like her, uh, two of her sisters there and sister's boyfriends probably, so it's going to be a big feast. So I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, so here we are at my best friend's mom's house, so we're just getting ready to sit down to eat. Um, so her mom made a big plate, pot of rice with um, rice and peas and then also these are like a scalloped potato, uh, no cheese of course and it's topped with breadcrumbs and then a vegan dinner needs to have a nice big salad so there was lots of salad and also my best friend made this coleslaw so it has like a vegan mayonnaise in it um, and that was really delicious. Um, her mom made plantains. And we also had um, a big plate of watermelon. And for dessert, there was also um, brownies. My girlfriend made brownies uh, with whipped cream and strawberries. And then I also made cookies. Um, and then they also had my green beans there, but I forgot to take video of it. So we had tons of food. It was such a good feast. We had such a great time. All right, so I am back at home. I had an amazing dinner out with my um, best friend and her family. So they, those, her family really feels actually like my family. Her parents and her sisters, you know, I really get along with them. I've known them all for a really long time. So it always feels like I am with family when I'm with them. And especially because I don't have my parents here, my brothers live away. Um, I, I, it's really nice to have them to be close to. So I'm just back at home. John was out with his buddy. I think he had a nice dinner. Did you have a nice time with your friend? Great. Where are you? I can't see. Oh, I can see you there up in the corner. <laughs> uh, Rob Adams? 
John had dinner with Rob Adams. They went to high school together. They were high school hoodlum buddies. Hey, hon? Yeah, we were troublemakers, now we're on the straight and narrow. Yeah, troublemakers on the straight and narrow. Me too. I was a big troublemaker. And now I am an angel. Right, hon? Yeah. Wings. I can see your wings. When I look at you, I can see the halo around your head. During the day, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I will wrap it up. If you guys like the video, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.